If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Also, if you guys want to get your hands on some cheap Master Prestige accounts for any Call of Duty games, check out Digizani. The link will be down in the description, and make sure to use code GOBLIN. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about an SMG that a lot of people seem to forget about, but one that I actually really love and I think it's super underrated and there's certain reasons why this could actually be one of the best SMGs, if not the best SMG in this game, which of course that is a big statement. There's some really good SMGs in Black Ops 3, but I think that SMGs are definitely a very strong category here and they're all very good if you put them with the right class setup. So today's gameplay is a 100 plus kill gameplay with the Weevil. We're going to be talking about this gun, talking about how to do better with it and all that sort of stuff. Hope you guys will enjoy this. I know you guys love the 100 plus gameplays um, and of course we're talking about a unique weapon. I probably haven't talked about this weapon for literally like a year to be honest. Like last time I remember talking about this was probably last summer but this thing is an absolute monster. Be sure to slap that like button guys. 2,000 likes of course will be the goal. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are are new and let's talk about this so the weevil is one of those guns that the base variant of it which what i mean by that is with no attachments with no perks it's probably the best smg in the game along with the vmp and the reason for that is a lot of these smgs for example the vesper a very good gun but you can't really use it without attachments because you're going to run out of ammo the recoil is ridiculous you know it, that's a gun that really relies on the uh perks and attachments as crutches to help it another one would be the cuda the vmp however has like a 40 round magazine so that is something that could be good without attachments but the weevil has 50 bullets before you have to reload and the reload time is so damn quick even without fast mags it's ridiculous i think that is what makes this thing such a strong gun if you're on extended mags i believe it has 71 bullets like you, you don't even need that because you already have 50 just off the default and you don't even need fast mags because of how fast it reloads and that gives this gun a huge advantage over other smgs whereas the the vesper i would run fast mags and extended mags or for example on uh a on a different gun like the the VMP, I would run one or the other, and same with the CUDA. That's where the Weevil really gets its huge advantage, and that's what I want to talk about today. So because of that, because of its bullet control, I guess we could say, the fact that you don't have to reload very often, all that sort of stuff, uh, um, you don't have to reload very often, and it reloads fast, you can run this thing with, you have an extra slot, basically. And what I like to do is I like to run the Weevil with only two attachments. That's all I really need to make it a beast gun. And then also with a bunch of perks, and that's what makes this gun so awesome is how you can balance it with the perks and stack perks up so the two attachments that i choose to run on this weevil number one is going to be quick draw a pretty standard one for smgs i run quick draw on pretty much every gun in the game especially on an smg you'll pretty much never catch me running an smg without quick draw and without fast hands because those are absolutely deadly and the second attachment i will go with is stock now the reason for this is stock is awesome on smgs especially like i hate trying to outgun people who have stock on smgs SMGs, especially if you have an LMG, an assault rifle, anything other than another stock SMG versus a stock SMG, you can just out strafe people. And you'll see me do that a lot in this gameplay. Like I'm just doing it every single kill. I'm aiming down sights and I'm moving while I'm aiming down sights side to side. And just that slight movement, a few steps to the right, a few steps to the left, can cause the enemies to miss two or three bullets, which will end up with you getting the kill. It's an absolutely major key, I would say two winning gunfights and it works perfectly because of the weevil how strong of a base gun this is that you don't need those other crutch attachments you can run just stock and quick draw now this means that i don't have grip you don't need grip this thing has no recoil uh, and you're not going to be killing people at long range any anyways you don't need any fast mags or extended mags as i've talked about before rapid fire can be helpful on this gun however it's not needed and that's why i choose these two attachments i find that you can see in this gameplay i'm playing on the ground a lot and that's something that i like to do because i am of course, traditionally a boots on the ground player. I played boots on the ground for like four years before Advanced Warfare came out, before those advanced movement games came out. It might have even been more than four years. I think it was around four, four years of me playing COD boots on the ground. So, of course, that's the style that I've played the most of, and that's what I'm used to. I do use the movement quite effectively, I think, but not as much as some other people would. 
and I find that that stock helps me out so much, especially on Nuketown, like Hardpoint. In these gunfights, when I'm uh, infiltrating these rooms, you can't be using that double jump, really, because you're going to hit your damn head on the roof. You have to rely on your boots on the ground gun skill in those situations, and that's where I absolutely love this class up. So, like I said, only two attachments, which saves me... The, th the third attachment point as well as the wild card needed to get that third attachment so I can deck out on um, perks. What I like to run for perks, like I said, because of stock, because this is a gun that you're going to play more of a boots on the ground style with, of course you're going to be using the jump in, using the slide in, but I mean traditionally the stock works, stock doesn't really work when you're in the air, it works more when you're on the ground. What I like to run is for my first perk, I run flak jacket as well as overclock. It's a pretty ballsy setup here, but um, having no afterburner, but I, I it's designed like that. That's how this class up is designed to be one of the best SMG class ups in the game. Flak jacket, of course, helps you when I'm infiltrating those buildings. I'm not going to get blown up. I'm not going to get naded. I'm not going to get destroyed by RC cars or all that sort of stuff. Overclock helps me to get to my, uh, basically to get to my specialist faster, which in this case, my specialist was combat focus because I need that combat focus to go and get those high kill streaks, which are the big three. I've talked about this in my how to get 100 plus kills video like two days ago. You guys should all check that out if you want tips on how to get a bunch of kills. Wraith, Hater, Raps, those are my big three with combat focus, with overclock, with a strong class it up. Not too hard to get these streaks and let them rain down tear. And that's why even joining in late, even like uh, this gameplay, I joined in late. Insane comeback, insane amount of kills. Probably one of my best gameplays in this game, to be honest. Um, and it's all because of this class it up, because of how I designed it. Now, as far as perk two, what I like to run here is I like to run fast, uh, fast hands, which I talked about before, goes perfectly with quick draw. Pretty much on every single SMG class, I have quick draw and I have fast hands. Um, those two pair together nicely because fast hands, a lot of people think it's just to switch weapons faster. That's not the case. The main reason I use it is to get your gun up faster after sprinting. It helps you basically allow the bullets to go out of your gun, whether you're hip firing after sprinting, whether you're aiming down sights. It all goes together quick draw and fast hands and makes this gun deadly. And as far as my other second perk, scavenger, because you do have 50 bullets to start as well as 150 in the tank. But this gun does have a fairly decent fire rate and i'm trying to build up those kill streaks with combat focus so i want to have scavenger to you know i'm going for the big kill streaks of course you always want to have scavenger when you're going for the big kill streaks then it leaves me one more point for my third perk and for my third perk here i go with tac mask like i said this class up is designed around itself together and the reason why i rock with tac mask is because what i want to do is I, it pairs perfectly with the flak jacket pairs without having afterburn if you have afterburn usually blast suppressor is better flak jacket usually tack mask is better and of course this is a gun that really excels on the ground without gunning people using the stock in buildings in tight spots that's where the weevil and that's where this class up really excels and that's why i like to run that for the class up so the entire class up here is of course stock and quick draw the two attachments which gives me that huge advantage where i basically deck out on perks most people's class ups have three perks i have five and perks are very effective. I have flak jacket, overclock, fast hand scavenger, tack mask. No secondary need on this thing because the reload time is very quickly. It's literally only like a second, maybe a second, and probably yeah, less than a second even to reload. Um, I've tried this thing with fast mags. It makes the reload even faster. But usually I wouldn't run anything like that unless I'm running rapid fire. Rapid fire can be helpful for this gun, but I'm going for that overpowered, consistent class setup. It's just like the CUDA. CUDA rapid fire is absolutely awesome. So is Weevil. Um, those are the two that I prefer rapid fire on out of the SMGs. However, that takes up an extra point, two extra points if I'm throwing that on as my third, uh, third attachment. And at that point, I just have to decide what is better, having that third attachment or having that fourth or fifth perk. And in this situation, I decided to have that overclock perk over a third attachment because I think that is more effective. And you can see how many points it's getting me. I just got a quad feed. I'm getting like six, seven man feeds here with combat focus up and it's getting me new new wraith, new wraps. And I basically was able to slay the enemy so strongly that the objective was all ours this game and we get a nice little comeback victory, which was absolutely insane. Considering when I joined this game, I don't remember. I think it was like 10 to 100. It was something ridiculous. This class up and the weevil is one that I would love to see people playing with more. I need to play with this one more too i think a lot of people get into that pattern of just simply vmp cuda vmp cuda but this one at this point could be one of the best smgs in the game 
because of its strengths and its ability to build the class up around it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, like I said, a pretty impressive gameplay. A class up I want to see all you guys rocking with. 131 kills is that to 15? It's something insane. This gameplay is insane. Drop a like on this thing, guys. 2,000 likes. Please smack that. As well, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could all hit that sub button. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Sub for Cookie and Don't Looky. And I'm out. Peace.